brought to you by Bethel School of Technology. Learn more at BethelTech.net slash Ken Coleman. I want to cover an article here uh, about where how we're working today. And I'm going to share the reality with you so that you go, huh, Ken's just shared with me the reality in the workplace. And in doing so, he showed me where I can get the edge and win. You want to know how to outpace your competition in the office and outside? For those of you that want to climb the ladder, because this show is not for people who want average. I got news for you. If you want an average life and an average job, this show, it's not for you. My stuff isn't for you. But now if you want to win and have the life you desire and get to the end of your journey, look back and say, I'm reminiscing on all the fun things I did or the challenges that I met, the chances that I took, I don't, want, I don't want to regret what I didn't do. I want to remember what I did do. This show is for you. So I'm sharing this with you to give you a competitive edge. Here we go. This is fascinating. Employees are working an hour less a day since 2021. And again, this is all pandemic stuff. The world of work changed forever. Some good, some bad. But here's where we stand. Workers are now putting in about four hours less a week because of the one hour less a day. This is a new report by Active Track. They're a workforce analytics company. And they found that between the first quarter of 2021. So again, we're very much in the pandemic. I don't care if you're on a left state or a right state on what you think about masks. Even at this point, first quarter of 2021, we're very much still in what we would call that, that pandemic era of work. So they found that between the first quarter of 2021 and the third quarter of 2023, that's just last year, the average length of the workday fell by 47 minutes. Uh, the analysis found that the typical workday spanned nine hours and five minutes at the end of 2023 compared to nine hours and 52 minutes at the beginning of 2021. Now, this is a survey because this is so legitimate, folks. Uh, for those of you who don't really care about data as much as I do, you just want the facts, understand that the larger the sample size, the more accurate the data is, in my opinion. Uh, some some statistic people will fight me on that. Eh. Uh, I like large samples. 135,000 workers across 958 companies looking into 97 million hours of data. I go, oh, that's good. It's kind of like that scene in Lion King where uh, the, the hyenas are hanging out. And one of them says Mufasa's name. You remember that scene? And one of the one of the hyenas goes, ooh, ooh, say it again. And, and the hyena goes, Mufasa. It's just, it's kind of one of those, whoa, pay attention to this, right? This is powerful. Here's what they found. Employees are finishing their task in less time. That's good. Efficiency's up. But there are slight declines in focus time and productive time. That's bad. So what we've got is hacks, tools, software, uh, systems are getting better all the time. So people are getting their work done more efficiently, but focus time and productive time is down. Hello, social media. I just listened to a podcast where a guy named Cal Newport, who, who's written a wildly popular bestseller called Deep Work. I've interviewed Cal before. And he shared something that I had not heard previously or I'd forgotten. This is going to freak you all out. You ready? Let's say you're working. There's a lady right out here in the lobby, and I presume she's working. And uh, she's on her laptop, and she's she's kind of listening to me. I'm very grateful she's there. Uh, but she's working right now. Ma'am, let's say you're writing an email, and you're totally focused. And then the guy in the studio interrupts you like I just did. You have just been interrupted. It will now take your brain 23 minutes, 23 minutes to be able to refocus. Yeah. So you're trying to do deep work. You can go back to your work, ma'am. Thank you for being my, my muse. Uh, you could be doing work and you get an email ding or a social media notification or a text from your kid or your spouse or whatever. And I get it. It's life. I'm just, I'm, I'm driving home the point here that, We've never been more distracted in our work life, and it is absolutely affecting our ability. The deeper the work, the better the work. The better the work, the greater the result. The greater the result, the better my paycheck gets, 
the better my paycheck gets, the better my life gets. Am I getting through to you now? You want to know your competitive advantage? I'm telling you. I'm giving you the data. If you want to be a statistic, good on you. Stop listening to my show. If you don't, if you want to be above the data, keep listening. Keep watching. One last, uh, well, a couple more pieces really quick. Active Track uh, showed that the average worker logs off at about 5 p.m. on Monday through Thursday. On Friday, workers sign off at 4.03 p.m. A quick little piece on that. I'm going to keep moving. I'm telling you folks, I said it before, I'm more convinced than ever that I'm right. The four-day work week is coming, and it may sneak up on some of you, and it's going to really piss off Dave Ramsey. I Boy, I, I don't want to be around him when, when that happens across the country because he, he ain't going to like it. And I get it. I'm just having some fun with this. But I'm telling you, the four-day work week is coming. It ain't coming to Ramsey Solutions, but it's coming to other places. And we're already beginning to see this when you see data like this where people are basically going, hey, on Friday, I'm out an hour earlier. Deuces, I got a pitcher of margaritas with my name on it or whatever the deal is, right? It's just the reality. Now, on top of all of the fewer hours and productivity dropping, we're also seeing the disengagement is jumping up. Um, employees were disengaged, which means they're spending more than 75% of their time in a state of underutilization. Good Lord. Are you kidding me? This is a massive leadership problem and a massive leadership opportunity and also a massive career opportunity for you. Folks, if you just listen to only one thing I just shared in this segment, listen to this. 20% of employees are disengaged. They're literally checked out. That's a huge advantage. All you got to do is show up and be engaged, and you are going to rise up the ladder organically. Be engaged. Find a place where you can be engaged and watch your paycheck grow and your life improve. That's it. That's all I even need to say. If you get nothing else, that's it. And we think success is so difficult. We think outpacing the competition is so difficult. It's not. Be engaged. So there you go. I'm going to leave it at that. You know, sometimes there's just the moment when you need to stop. And for this segment, that's all you need to know. Your competitive advantage is based solely on your ability to get engaged. Launch your tech career today at BethelTech.net slash Ken Coleman.